Why does yeast extract make food taste better? Well, to answer that question, we have to start at the beginning. This is yeast, a tiny single-celled organism that's literally found everywhere, in the air, on fruits and vegetables, even on our skin. But don't let its size fool you. Yeast plays a big role in the foods we eat. Without it, bread wouldn't do this, beer wouldn't do this, and grapes wouldn't make this. So if you enjoy bread or beer or wine, and who doesn't, you have nature's simplest form to thank for it. And while you're at it, you can also thank yeast for making a lot of other foods you eat taste better. To understand why, we have to start with the taste buds. No, no, not those little bumps on your tongue. Our taste buds are actually located around those little bumps, and we have thousands of them, each containing strips of taste receptor cells that tell us if we're eating something sweet, salty, sour, bitter, umami, or kokumi. But while our taste buds can tell us which of these tastes we're enjoying, they actually have no idea what type of food we're eating to get that taste. That's the job of the olfactory cells in our nose. A handy little tidbit the next time you're trying to impress someone. Anyway, our taste buds can tell which of those tastes we're eating because food delivers each of those tastes in the form of an ion. The ions stimulate the taste buds. This starts a little party within the taste receptor cell. Or for you food scientists out there, a molecular interaction which signals a neuron that lets our brain know which taste we just tried. Different parts of our tongue signal different neurons that talk to different parts of our brain. For example, if the taste buds on the front of your tongue taste something sour, they'll let the neurons for cranial nerve number seven know, and you'll make that, wow, I just ate something sour face. But enough about sour, and no offense to sweet, salty, and bitter, but we're going to talk about the two unsung heroes of taste umami and kokumi, because they're the taste associated with protein, and our bodies need protein for energy, growth, and development, which is pretty important stuff. To let our taste buds know when we're eating protein, amino acids give it either the taste of umami, which means delicious taste, or kokumi, which means rich taste. The umami taste is triggered by glutamic acid, an amino acid in protein that you'll find in all kinds of foods, from cheese to mushroom soup even a mother's milk. Of course, all the other amino acids didn't want to be left out, so they joined together and formed small chains of compounds called peptides to provide the taste of kakumi, and that's how our body tastes savory food. Now, here's how baker's yeast helps us make food taste better. Yeast gets its energy from sugar. Put the two together, add some oxygen, and yeast energy level increases. The more sugar it gets, the higher the energy level. Imagine a five-year-old after eating a giant bowl of candy. Except with yeast, the higher the energy level, the healthier it gets. And the healthier it gets, the higher level of yeast protein it will contain. This is called fermentation. Since we want our yeast to get the very best sugar, we use molasses made from sugarcane, naturally grown in South America. No industrial agriculture techniques, no need for genetically modified ingredients. When we have all the yeast and yeast protein we need, we cut off the air supply, and the yeast is inactivated. Next, we place ours in a temperature culture tank with little salt, and let it start going through the natural process of autolysis. Autolysis is a lot like popping a water balloon. Osmotic pressure breaks open the cell wall of the yeast and allows the soluble material and natural enzymes to escape. And then we capture all the healthy protein parts of the yeast, or as the label on a lot of food products like to call them, yeast extract. Yeast extract has the delicious taste of umami or kokumi, so our taste buds are really big fans of any food that's made with it. It's also an all-natural ingredient, which is why we're big fans of it too. Such big fans, in fact, that we use yeast extract as a key ingredient in a wide variety of Savory Systems products. Now you know all about yeast extract, just one of the natural ingredients we use to help make foods taste better.